Oh, this is Poncho Blazing ATM. Poncho, Poncho. This is James Flemington reporting from an exclusive interview only where you will not find James Flemington, but you will find that Poncho Blazing ATM is in his fancy new jacket and attire. But Poncho, Poncho, Poncho. Now, Tell me something. How does it feel to be an online hip hop artist of the year for two times in a row? And where did your career first start and how has it impacted your life? Well, I mean, um, James Flemington, uh, let's be honest, man. You know, when I first started being. Um, a rapper, and you all hip hop artist, a rapper, basically what people call it nowadays. Uh, when I first became that in 2011, when I like first wrote, wrote my song, uh, "Beware," you see Paralyzed remix. Um, I had no idea that that would take me to being a what you say a rapper, a hip hop artist. That I had no idea that that would. Uh, start my career because honestly when I wrote that I was going through like um, just terrible times I mean honestly I was down depressed and uh, it's first time months that I didn't really talk to nobody so I was like what am I going to do because I was talking to my man uh, Kevin Magger, Kate Mack, shout out to him uh, about April 14th or 15th of 2011 on the school bus uh, going home I was like uh, okay uh, Kevin me you know, I've not talked. This is the first time I'm not going to be talking to nobody in a while. And so, like, I told him, like, I don't know what I'm going to do when I get home. Because I was crying. I was, like, literally tears. I was, like, bawling. So I wrote a song uh, uh, called Beware H.C. Palline Remix. And I was like, hmm, well, I'll take it to Jake Spurlock and uh, see how it is. Because he was an all-star teacher at the time. Shouts to... Jake, uh, being a Kentucky State Police Cop, man, hey, I hope you're doing good. And so I took my song to him, and, like, within a week, like, that transitioned the whole Harley County High School, and that was the start point in my career. And for me to be the online hip-hop artist of the year, two years in a row, 2015 and 2016, back-to-back, -back, listen, you know, I may not be the most lyrical, uh, Rapper, I may not uh, be all hyped up all the time. I may not, raps may not make a lot of sense and stuff. But when you put the impact and when you put God in the mix, when you let God write your bars, when you let God write your lyrics, and when you let God take over, hey, any and everything can happen. And you know, um, eighty percent, eighty-five percent of my songs is. Christian rap or gospel rap songs and the other 15% is contemporary now You're probably asking why do you do contemporary and why are you a rapper hip-hop artist when you're a preacher at the same time? And why are you want to be called a hip-hop preacher? Well for one I want everybody to start unifying and uh, Be in unity together and number two I want to make an impact in the world and the best way to make an impact is to be the hip-hop preacher. And so I thank God that he allowed me to be in this position of being the online hip-hop artist of the year for 2015-2016. And I gotta say a couple of shout outs to uh, people who really took my career to a new level it is uh, Micah Howard, Ms. Howard, uh, Twan Jacobs, uh, Quentin Jackson uh, Jr., uh, Dennis Hightower, McCarty Brooks, uh, K.K. Simmons, Nicole Howe, Brianna Larson, uh, Stephen Coos, uh, my brother Hunter Holland, my mom, uh, Princess Holland, uh, dad James Holland, of course, and uh, Alexis Dennis uh, Coles, I believe, uh, Destiny Malden, just a couple of names. And then people that really uh, started my career is Jake Spurlock, Dylan Banks, uh, Katie Wise, Bree. I mean, just a couple of names and my producers and directors, uh, Katie on the Beats, uh, Clark McKitts, uh, Legion Beats, uh, the Nabucco on the Beats, uh, So So Death, uh, Def Jam Recorder, Recording, 
just uh, if it wasn't for people like that, my career would still be at a low sinking point. And uh, shout out to Brother Rob Music as well for uh, leading me and guiding me uh, through prayer and stuff in 2015 when my career was at a low point. And I just thank God for uh, allowing me the opportunity to be a hip hop artist. And I'm going to continue to make an impact and I'm going to continue to bring the best out not only in me but in uh, music and I'm going to give back to the world, to the nation, but most of all, I'm going to preach the Word of God, uh, preach the Word and Spirit and the truth, and just uh, like to see souls saved, people be delivered and set free. Hey, 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 man, let's look at that uh, style, man, let's look at that style. Oh, man, hey, James, you know, uh, this right here, this is what I call perfection. I must say, you got class, bro. You definitely got class. Thank you so much.